Hello. Well, let's see. I think I have this on. <laughs> wow. Mimi loves crochet. <laughs> Mateo. Oh. You sent me an email. Okay. And Mary King. Hi. All right. Let's see here. Hi, Jeanette. <laughs> Hi, Sam. <laughs> Hi, Mimi. Wow, you guys. It's early for me, but it seems like you guys have been at it for a while. I don't know. Can you hear me all right? I got the microphone, but it's there Samantha yes ma'am yes ma'am well my goodness so um do you have moderators you know what I do not I didn't even think of that I never think of it <laughs> Okay, so you sent me an email. Well, here's the problem. Whew. Can I be a moderator? Um, and then I have to figure out how to add you as a moderator. Let's see. No, no, no. Good Lord. Um, all right, you guys, I'm going to um, I'm going to log. I don't know what to do. Let's see. Hang on. Okay, uh, let me stick this back on the, um, hang on, I'm sorry, you guys. There's so many things I don't know, I gotta tell you. Alright, I'm having problems keeping this thing in line. Okay, let's see if that helps. All right. All right, okay, so good. I'm glad the sound is better. All right, I think I'm uh, here. <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys. Okay. Um, who knew? How easy it was to add a moderator. So, um... Wow, look at all you guys. Working on your bunny. Oh, I forgot to check my emails, Mimi. I'm sorry. 
I don't have a second device here or I would just go look at that. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will... Uh... Hi, Mary. Yeah, I'm glad you, uh, glad you came. So, <clears throat> been working on this baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got through the blue. And so now I got three sections, red, white, and red to do. And then some stars. And then it's done. So I'm excited about that. Hey, Marina. Where can I find the pattern for the blanket? You know what? It's a kit from Mary Maxim. So the pattern is, although, you know, wouldn't be that hard to figure out, I'm sure. But let's see. Uh, copyright by Mary Maxim. All rights reserved. So there's that. Uh, where are you from? Bark at the Moon. Oh, I saw that one. I saw that one. That one's pretty cool. Um, star part is a problem for me. You know, they're appliques, so, and it gives you instructions how to make them. And I was thinking that, um, I might surround them with blue after I make them and so that they wouldn't show that I was attaching them. <laughs> Thought I might adapt it a little bit like that. Hi Kim. Um, let's see. My husband wants a flag. So, uh, where are you guys all hailing from? Samantha, uh, let's see, Marina's in California, and Mary's in Arkansas, Tammy's in Ohio. Mimi's in East Texas. Tennessee. Samantha's in Colorado. Columbus, Georgia. Texas. Wow, I'm in Washington State. I'm, I'm in the top corner, <laughs> the top left corner. Where am I from? I, I'm out of, uh, just outside Seattle in, the, uh, in Washington. And I'm originally from North Dakota, but my dad worked for the phone company. And so we moved a bunch of places and ended up in California. Um, so I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area. And Diana, where are you near in Texas? And I work for a company during the day that is out of Fort Worth, Texas. I've been to Fort Worth and Dallas uh, numerous times. And I have a sister-in-law that lives in the Houston area. And I have a sister who lives in Minnesota. I got nieces and nephews in Texas and Arizona. Two hours from you, huh? I don't plan on going back. I work remote. <laughs> well, I used to be in management and then I had to travel to Texas every year. But uh, now I am not a manager, and so I get to work from home, and I don't have to go anywhere. So, yay! <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's a long flight from here. Uh. Yeah, I'm glad I can stay home too. We we had an office here and then it got closed during COVID um, because my company was adamantly opposed to people working from home until COVID. <laughs> And then it was fine. <laughs> uh, you're in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, I got a nephew in San Antonio. Um, and then my sister-in-law and brother-in-law are in um, Katy. Live in Sugarland. You know what? I am looking at how many people that are on this live that I have sent mail to. <laughs> There's a lot of them on here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Samantha. Yes, Jeanette. Jeanette in lovely West Virginia. Excellent. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> Very good, Kim. Hey, um, you guys remember this scarf? Well, when I was organizing my yarn room, I found... I will. I will, Samantha. <laughs> um... So when I was cleaning uh, and organizing the yarn, I found another skein of the Big Twist Winter, which is what I made this out of. So I just thought I'd mention it. Mimi, she did uh, drop the link to her channel already. in. It's in the comments. If you scroll up a little, you'll see it. or do whatever I want to do when I'm wearing it, so. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, um, I've heard from everybody who's won. So, I'm going to ship some packages and get them ready to go today. And I'm excited because later today I'm going to pick the next winner. And then, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be Tuesday. That, um, how long have I been crocheting for? <laughs> well, I am not an expert. Uh, I crocheted when I was young and it was disastrous for a little while uh, when my kids were little. And then I went back to sewing because I was better at it. And um, I did a little knit, a little crochet back then. And then um, a couple years ago, I picked up the hook and started crocheting again. And so it's only been a couple of years. And I really have been uh, appropriately named my channel because I'm doing just about everything for the first time. And so I am just curious to try the next thing and the next thing. And I love it. And I like sharing time with you guys. I don't have to be an expert on anything. I just share with you what I'm what's going on and <laughs> what I'm doing. It's 
exactly. So yeah, I just um, really enjoy the colors, the textures, the stitches, um, things pop into my head to do, you know, I design some stuff, I follow other people's designs. It's very interesting and it really stimulates my brain um, a lot more so than um, my day work does. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I just really, now I'm in my 60s, I'm like, you know what? I wish I had a lot more time to crochet. <laughs> and I will. Someday, uh, I won't have to work my day job anymore and I can just do this stuff. But right now I have to split my energy. So, and boy, I have a lot less energy when the, uh, when my allergies are kicking up. So, um, I'm so relaxed. You know what? I am so blessed. You guys are not going to believe this, but I'm in sales. <laughs> um, I am very comfortable talking in front of people. Have always been, and I don't know why. But, um, big twist, you better grab it. They are closing a lot of stores. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. Hey, Christine. Boys and sports got in the way. Hey, Mimi, what kind of sports? My granddaughter, uh, she asks sometimes about things, you know. Um, we were watching... volleyball they filed bankruptcy oh i didn't know that oh we're talking about joanne's stores oh gotcha i have seen the big twist um split a bit but that's what i made my granddaughter's blanket out of hey maritza hola and um the super secret project and uh it worked up really nice. So there was a little splitty, but uh, it didn't bother me. So, and uh, I got it at a great price too. So I've got to say. Well, I wonder if they're going to close the Joann's by me. Seems like they're never very busy. You know, I've never shopped for yarn at Michael's <laughs> or Hobby Lobby. I've never bought anything, any yarn at Hobby Lobby either. And I have them both right by me, but um, I think my sister worked at Joann's a long time ago. <laughs> and my, um, my mom also worked there for a while uh, as a merchandiser. And um, wow, that's cool. My granddaughter just finished playing basketball, which she's not very tall, but in one of her first games, they played against this team where one of the kids, and she's only in sixth grade, so, you know, she'd probably grow some more. <laughs> In fact, she grows every day, I think. <laughs> but um, there was this girl on the opposite team who was her height, who was killing it. And she, um, you know, she really showed uh, my granddaughter that, you know, you don't have to be tall to be good at something. So that was cool. Anyway, she um, was fairly timid about but she ran up and down the court. She guarded. But handling the ball, she didn't handle the ball until the very last game. 
<laughs> but my daughter caught it on camera, so that was cool. So um, when I went to high school, we played all the sports um, in PE. And so when I told my granddaughter that I had run track and jumped hurdles, she couldn't believe it. <laughs> and uh, she's like, how did you do that? Because she watched a, you know, a video of people jumping hurdles. And she's like, how did you do that? I said, I have no idea, but they told me I could do it. So I did it. <laughs> It's amazing when you don't know what you, you know, when you know what you can't do, you can't do it. But if you don't know what you can't do, you can do a lot of stuff. My sister is only 5'2", and she played basketball at grade school and high school. She was always one of the best, if not the best, player. My family is growing up with sports of every type. Cool. Well, yeah, we weren't... I mean, my family wasn't into sports. My... Um, and my parents had all daughters, so there wasn't the um, boy aspect and you know at my age girls sports were not uh, that big of a deal you know they didn't get any funding they didn't get any money so I'm really happy to see that things have changed and uh, man we got a fierce soccer women's soccer team and I think that the activism that they've been involved in has really given a boon to women's sports. So, <laughs> cool, cool. So I was thinking of doing the questions for um, the, you know, crochet questions for uh, the month of crochet or whatever this is, National Crochet Month, <laughs> except I never got around to getting the questions uh, on the screen. Ten-year-old granddaughter plays for a Dallas team as their goalie. Nice. Nice. Uh, my nephew wanted to be a goalie, and man, he worked hard at it. And he was tall, you know. Um, so he had a lot of limbs to hang out there and... <laughs> and try to snag balls but fortunately he stuck with the computers and now he is a very accomplished with a uh, member of the air force uh and he does it related stuff that he can't talk about so good for him Jeanette is going to stock up on yarn. You want to hear my answers? I don't know what the questions are. I didn't I didn't get them. <laughs> I was going to print them out. <laughs> so I would have them. But I don't know what they are. But it's probably things like, you know, how long have you been crocheting and that kind of stuff. All right, let's see. So some people said they like loops and threads. What's your favorite weight of yarn? Favorite weight. So do you like lace weight, fingering weight? 
Uh, let's see, what's next? DK, you like four. Hey, Yolanda. Hi, Kathy. I thought I liked four the best, but I think I like five chunkies. Four, then three. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Never used anything bigger than four. Well, I've pretty much used everything at this point. Four weight and bulky six. These four walls. Hey. Scraptastic crochet. Hope all is good. Christine Abrams says magic circle or chain ring. Hmm. Well, I do the chain ring, but not like I still pull it like it's a magic circle. Because if you just do a couple chains and go into the first one, it pretty much acts like a magic circle. Hi, Noel. Noel. These four walls and beyond. Gail. Some five, if premier. Five to me, I think, too heavy for Texas heat. I'd love to make a bulky blanket. Do you crochet in public? I would, but I rarely go out. <laughs> but I totally would. You know, I started um, buying darn good yarn, and so I got a lot of, like, fingering and lace weight and stuff, but I don't love it. You do in your doctor's offices, yeah. Oh, Christine, you must have access to that list. <laughs> What's the last thing you made for yourself would be... <laughs> I think it's this. Or... Or, oh, you know what it is? I don't think it's that. I think it's my, um, that, um, triple, um, triple, uh, oh my God, what was that thing called? This thing. <laughs> the one I did in pink. The shawl, um, that I can't remember the name of by Juan the Yarn Addict. That's, I think that's the most recent thing I made for myself. Takes me 10 years to answer a question. Sorry about that. Good morning, MDL. Samantha's back. Working on my cottage core. I love cotton and bamboo. Oh, did I make this? No. I got this at one of those places like Ross or TJ Maxx a long time ago. It's really cute. It's crocheted, but yeah, I didn't make it. You watched the All About the Hats? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. I make for everyone but me. Three to six weight. Cotton and bamboo. And by the way, congratulations, Maritza. <laughs> Do I have a crochet buddy? Um, sure. All of you guys. <laughs> Uh, my live streams tend to go about an hour, and then I run out of energy. <laughs> what is your response to the word cozy? Well, let's see. I like cozy mysteries. I like 
cozy blankets. I meant you are so giving. I've never seen much you made for yourself. Well, um, I made the my scarf. Let's see. Yeah, I make stuff for myself. Um, I have. Uh, I made this for myself. This is the first time I ever bought any wool. And oh my gosh, I loved it. It was so fun to make. And I've been meaning to go back to Bag O' Day and figure out which stitch this is. Because I want to do it again, but I don't remember what it is. <laughs> but I think I got it off Bag O' Day. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of times the things I make, though, they get claimed by the aforementioned granddaughter the second they get off the hook. And, I mean, if she could, she would just steal it all. Um, I have to specifically say, no, I'm sorry, this is for somebody else. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, these four walls, I don't know your first name. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah, um, very sorry. You know, the wonderful thing is for the rest of your life when you crochet, you will have wonderful memories of her. Hmm. That's awesome. Um, so. <laughs> Aww. Amy longed to crochet with my crochet buddy. Aww. 54, that feels very young. <clears throat> yes, and once um, I see that somebody picture, I'm going to share it with uh, on the channel, so... So I have shipping to do, and later today I am going to post another winner. Winner, winner, winner. I think we are up to the blue basket this time with the blue yarn is the next one. Right? Yes. First time on a live. My handle is strange, but I go by Renee. Tend to crochet for everyone else and once in a while. Who was your crochet buddy? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. So do you actually have a channel? You could drop your channel uh, link uh, Samantha can drop it for you. Welcome, Renee. Do I have more yarn? <laughs> I always have more yarn, you guys. I don't have a buddy to crochet with. Um, Actually, I my daughter crochets, but she's been working on the same blanket for like four years, so... I don't know if that would qualify as a crochet buddy, but anybody, um, I, I, 
actually don't have anybody close by that I know of that, that crochets. So, Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you for dropping that. I'll go back and hit all these links later. Cool. Thank you, Diana. Um, yeah, I don't have any new baskets. I just have the one I made for... Um, well, I have those baskets. One, two, three, but... I have lots of stuff to make baskets. <laughs> I haven't had any uh, any time. I've been working on that red, white, and blue, uh, the Waves of Glory throw. So I haven't um, I haven't done any more baskets in addition to the. But I have to do one for the. Well, I don't know if it'll be a basket, but you know I've got 900 subscribers coming up soon. Yes, you are my only moderator. <laughs> because I just learned when you taught me how to make somebody a moderator. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. Hey, um, so let's see. Oh, I do have something to show you guys, though. Let me grab it. So Mary Maxim <clears throat> had a sale, because you know they always do. Yes. Um, so Mimi, can you moderate? <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Um, I can live without a moderator too. So, Samantha, you don't have to feel like you have to stick around. Anyway, um, this is the crocheted sampler. This is a brand new one. Let me pull the... And, by the way, remember Mary Maxim stopped using zipper bags? But look, this one has a zipper bag. Um... <laughs> All right, I got to put down my microphone that's not hanging up. Hold on. Okay, this. Look at this. Now, I checked out the pattern, and basically it is... The cable and the basket weave is every square. So they're all they all look exactly like that one square. And it's 42 by 55. And I know how to basket weave, but I've never done cables, so and it is made with uh bonbon and I got the tan one. So I was thinking that I would get uh, make this, but I'm also going to uh, give this, uh, when I hit my 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away one of these kits, I think. Or maybe I'll just give a gift certificate to Mary Maxim and let people pick their own kit. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Sarah Marina. Hey, um, 
Sarah, can I put you as a moderator? Or is that just like too much pressure? <laughs> Somebody showed me how to do this today. So, um, yeah, I definitely want to, uh, I'll be a greeter. Yeah, Mimi, you do that. Um, so, yeah, I definitely think that this is a pretty cool kit, but um, I was so torn because I want to make it, but I would like to gift it to somebody. But I think instead, that might be a better idea is let them pick their own kit. Um, so, and then, uh, and then I get to learn how to make cables. So I'm working on a video. Thank you, Samantha. Uh, I am working on a, yes, it is intermediate. Sorry. Um, I'm working on, oh yeah, okay, I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> um, I'm working on a video that shows all of the tutorials that I've downloaded that I think I want to do. <laughs> uh, and... Um, Okay. Some bunny almost killed you. Not literally, I hope. Walnut Cove. Hi, Yarn Barf. You know what? Uh, you, I love your Timu hair. I watched you this morning, Yarn Barf. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Excellent. See, I love that we all hang out together and you guys know each other. I think that's cool. Oh, have you tried mosaic crochet before? No, I haven't. And also Tunisian, although I have all the stuff, but I haven't tried it yet. I think those would be both good things for my Never Have I Ever channel, uh, you know, uh, feature. Best moderator yarn barf. We're having nominations. So, um, let's see. Do I have anything else to talk about? Well, I do have... Um, okay. Fiber Fox. Marie Simpson. Hi, Marie. Nice. Yeah, you guys. Um, let's see. <sighs> see, this is what happens. I get to close to an hour and I run out of things to talk about. <laughs> No, that's all right. 
You do not have to be quiet. Let's see. What else we got going on around here? So, I got some baby mandala. Boop. And I was watching um, Crochet Rocks. So as soon as I pulled this out of the box, I thought, yarn boobies. <laughs> I'd have to say my favorite pattern is um, that uh, triple ombre. Triple? Oh, boy. I can't remember the name of that silly s scarf. Um, that I made from, it's a tr that triangle shawl that I made uh, from Juan the Yarn Addict. And Triple Ombre Scarf, I think it's called. It's something like that. Triple, or Ripple Ombre Star. I, yeah, can't remember. So, this is Unicorn Cloud. Cynthia, Joyful Creations. Uh oh, I missed that question. Let me rewind. Can you name three crocheters you love? <laughs> oh, let's see. Three crocheters I love. You know what? I, um, Heather from Strings and Threads, and, can I say Sarah Nicole, <laughs> and, I'm assuming you mean people with channels, I guess Crystal from Bag o Day would be, you know, but there's other people, too. Like, I am really missing, um... <laughs> Sarah, you, you've helped me so much, I can't even say. Yes. Angel J. Elise Rose Crochet. Wow, there's a lot of channels I have not heard of here. I'm going to be going and checking them all out so you guys had fun I take it going and looking at some of my old videos yeah Crystal uh, really helped me get started because of her simple way of teaching Tiffany Hansen yeah yeah that's a good one um, I like Wilma Westenberg there's a lot of people out there. Um, I like Wilma Westenberg. Obviously, I've done that one, the Yarn Addict uh, project. I'm on my third, third one. Yeah, because I gave one away. I kept one, and I'm on my third one. So, Bonnie Bay Crochet, another good one. I have one of hers on my downloads. Um... Yeah, when I finish doing the voiceover on those downloads, I'll I'll post that in the next couple days sometime. And you guys will see all the patterns I've downloaded that I think I want to do or had at some point decided to do. And then, you know, we'll see if I ever get to them. Chandi from Expression Fiber Arts. Yeah, Juan the Yarn Addict. Man, his channel blew up fast, didn't it? <laughs> I don't know how he posts as much as he does. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, I certainly, I can't create fast enough to... Um, do crochet content seven days a week so I don't know I don't know how some people do it mm -hmm. 
yeah, you guys caught me on a buying spree right at the beginning of the year, which did help grow my channel a bit, but Nancy at She's Got Yarn is so talented at making wearables. Um, Crystal, who I can't remember her channel name. She has a wearable I want to make. No, there is not ever enough time to crochet. Moonlight Crochet and Crafts. Hook that yarn. Yes, yes, thank you. Hook that yarn. Yeah. Uh, Bango Day, Katrina. Lucas Yarns. Cinnamon Stitches. Yeah, I like her. You know, there's not enough time to watch all the channels either. So, yeah, that's a problem. Crafty Moose, Sarah there's um golly i don't know i'm blank i can't think who else fiber flux there's um spider uh what is that spider i love her coco's crochet uh, Jax, yeah. We're just shouting everybody out. <laughs> Be creative, Crass. I know it. Well, and the more content I do, the less time I have to watch channels. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, I'm always trying to, you know, decide what's the next thing I'm going to do. and and uh, But right now, I really want to finish this one. So, um, then I will move on to some shorter works for a little while. And then I'll do another blanket. So, um, yeah, it takes a lot of time to finish a blanket, you know. But I have a I have a lot of stuff that that I want to make and have started making and haven't finished and whatnot. Well, you guys see my whips. It's there's a lot of them, <laughs> but I do try to finish things. I really do because it's fun to finish stuff and have it be done. Yeah, I got to finish my dragon. I started on the tail. You know what, Noelle? I would not have learned either if it wasn't for YouTube. So, yeah. I appreciate all the content. Kim Crochet and Knits. Yeah, the dragon, uh, he's moving along. <laughs> I'm looking at all those pieces I have to make now, which is the, the hard part. And I got to go run over to Joanne's and get some fiber fill. So. so I guess I'll do that today. Queen's Crafts by Bridget has finished her wedding dress. Wow. IVB Creates. I bought a pattern from IVB a while ago and I haven't made it yet. Amy Domestico. Hello, Amy. I'll be back. I'm going to copy and paste this link to advertise your live. Oh, that's nice. Jen Reeves. Well, I appreciate that, Mimi. I am going to have a great giggle. And um, it's okay if I share it, right? You want me to share it on the channel?
Oh, goodness. I know I got to get this thing into a holder here. Nice. All right, so I'm going to mount this thing so I can crochet while I talk to you. Working your little finger off. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here's the scarf we were talking about earlier. I imagine I have some sequins yarn. I suppose I could try to make something like this. But the sequins aren't that close together. <laughs> But yeah, I got this at, I think it was Ross Dress for Less. Oh, yes, ma'am. You go right ahead. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's definitely crochet. Um, I can see the stitches and it's... The little chains, you can see the little chains. No, I did not make that. I bought it. <laughs> um, my, uh, my manager at work, she likes to knit. And she is a glutton for punishment because she made herself a shawl. And she beaded the whole thing. And I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, allergies. I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> Could I teach you how to make a snood? <laughs> oh, you you think a lot of me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, no, actually, uh, Angel, you'll laugh because I have two snoods on my um, wish list of downloads and I've never made one but I'd be happy to um, to share my uh, vast knowledge once I make one <laughs> you will find that I am not uh, much of an expert at much um, what I am is somebody who is constantly trying new things and learning about crochet one project at a time. I I don't know that much, and I'm not ashamed to say I don't know that much. I just know how much I enjoy it and how much it how much fun it is to hang out in the Yarny community and make things, share them with other people. And it's just it's just fun. But, yeah, my knowledge is... <laughs> it's not that deep. It's wide, but it's not deep. Uh, what's my favorite thing to make? Well, you would think that my favorite thing to make is baskets. But I was kind of shocked at how excited everybody got about baskets. <laughs> um... I never really thought about, uh, you know, a basket just seemed like an easy thing to make as a giveaway. And I love making things out of chunky yarn. 
Your favorite thing is a cardigan? That scares me. I've never made a cardigan. Uh, it seems very hard. <laughs> and it's probably not. But, hi, Anvita. How are you? <clears throat> well, I appreciate that you think a lot of me, Angel. I will do my best to live up to that. Favorite thing to make is a blanket. I like making hats and scarves a lot. I have the chunky yarn for basket. Tutorial, Joanne. <laughs> um, actually, I did start a basket tutorial, and I just haven't finished it yet. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> wow. That's good to, to hear from all of you. Yeah, um, you know, we've got... It, it, it actually is so... Um, I'm, let me grab this. If you have made, if you have made a, um, a hat, you can make a basket. They are so close to each other. And let's look at this. So the way that I figure out the rounds is pretty simple the I do just chain a couple here and slip stitch them together and then going into the first stitch you make eight stitches you can do half doubles you could do single crochet whatever makes you happy but once you get eight then on the next round you slip stitch the eight, the first stitch to the last stitch. Okay, so you still have eight. Then the next round is round two. And you do 16 stitches. So two stitches in every stitch eight times. Round two, 16 stitches. Round one is eight stitches. Round two is 16. You're going to add eight stitches every round until you have the base the size you want it. So it's the rule of eight. So eight times three is 24. So round three is 24 stitches. Eight times four is 32. So round four is 32 stitches. 8 times 5 is 40. So round 5 is 40 stitches. Now, the way that you do it, so once you've got 16, then you want to have 24, so you do one stitch in one stitch. And then on the second stitch, you do two stitches. So round three, three stitches eight times. I'm going to try to say this different ways so that you can hopefully one of the ways makes sense to you. The other way that I do it is to count one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. So eight times three stitches, 24 stitches. So there's a variety of ways to do this that whatever makes your brain click, you just need to add eight stitches every round until you have the size base that you're looking for. Um. Oop. <laughs> <sighs> Mina 
Knots. Rowan. Oops, I missed some comments here. That's a lot of yarn. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> yes, my friend Jeanette does make hats for charity. Have you used any of that reflective yarn I sent you, Jeanette? And Vita. And Vita, do you actually have a channel? How did I not know this? And Sir Devious, have you ever loom knitted it? Anything? Yes. Yes, I have. The loom, um, I started out making hats and um, scarves on the loom. I have a knitting machine also um, that I've made some things on. So, uh, okay, so it's not continuous rounds. I do slip stitch at the end of every round and then like I'll chain one. Um, just so that I can lift the, especially if I'm using really chunky yarn, it helps lift the crochet hook so it can easily be maneuvered back into the stitches. Um, I just chain one. Doesn't matter if I'm doing half doubles or doubles or singles. Yeah, slip stitch and chain one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the other question was scarves on the largest loom. Oh, uh, let's see. I just, like on a round loom, <laughs> if you just use, you know, X number of fingers on it and just go back and forth, that is, you can do a scarf. So, yeah, I have like different sizes of the round looms. And then I have an Afghan loom I've never used. Yeah. Um, looms is another thing I was going to do a tutorial on. Like I say, now that I've kind of worked out how to get my camera mounted so I can do a tutorial, I will try um, doing some loom tutorials as well. So... <clears throat> Let me, I'm just going to talk through this part, okay? So when you have made the base as big as you want to make it, say you got up to 8, round 8 would be 64. Um, then you just do, don't add anymore, okay? Now you're just going to go into each stitch and do one stitch. Now, if you do nothing except go into the full stitch, you'll have a rounded edge. But if you go into the front or back loop, you will get a little cord around at the corner of the edge. So choose the front loop or the back loop and stick with it and then you can turn your bowl inside out or right side out to see which one you like, which side you like. So this is a round. Um, this is a round bottom. And I just made, you know, it to fit inside this one. So I have nesting bowls. <clears throat> My longest live stream, mm, this I think was the Potiversary, which was quite long. <laughs> um, bye, Renee. It was really nice to have you join us. And you know what, you guys? I think I'm going to call it uh, here because uh, I hear my husband and I think he wants to work in the garage. So, <laughs> all right, you guys. Hey, thank you so much for coming and joining me today. And um, I've really enjoyed chatting with you. 
and I have ideas now for things you would like to see. I will be looking forward to the next video, all right? Take care. Thank you. Thanks for moderating. Bye-bye. <laughs>